We good, y'all. Why y'all scared? You know what I mean? I told y'all boots gonna take care of y'all. Y'all ain't gotta be scared. <laughs> what up? What up? It's your boy Puss in Boots, and I can barely talk because I got Tic Tacs in my mouth. But uh, we are back. Uh, we are playing Lost Alone, episode three. Granny. And uh, yeah, Granny's still walking around this house, scaring the hell out of us. If you remember the last episode, I got stuck. I had done all of, well, not all of, but a lot of Granny's old ass tash. Also, I had to start over. Um, yeah, this, this game has a really bad uh, habit of erasing all your damn save data. And so what happened was um, the game updated and it destroyed all of my save data. So I had to start over. Y'all know what? I picked up this mana queen, or not the mana queen, but the lizard. I didn't know I could take him out of the cage, but I took his punk ass out the cage, so we good. Let's head back over to the kitchen. Um, and then I'ma feed that, uh, that crow, this lizard. That's what we gonna do. Gonna keep it pushing, keep it moving. All right, what the? Is that somebody's leg hanging out right there? <laughs> what the f What is that? Am I recording? Yes, I am. I thought I wouldn't record my face cam. Okay, here we go. Nah, I seen your leg already. You had your fat leg hanging out of there. I already seen it. Don't try to play coy. What the shite? Oh, it's the cat. That's the cat I've been looking for. Let me save real quick. That father mucking cat. Like I said last episode, only cat I seen was on the bunny lady. Running around here naked. But uh, we good now, man. I see the cat in there. Let me go ahead and uh, take some head out here. Give me some head. Give me the right arm. Got that. Uh, we gonna put the arm back though. Because we need the right hand for it. And I found the salt. I don't remember finding the salt in the last episode. So I got the salt for that uh, love making soup. You know, I think that love suit for the, uh, one of the four, four demons, um, the purgatory demon to be exact. I think he needs that love suit because he might be impotent. That's, that's what I think it's about. That's why he's calling it love suit. It, uh, it's going to help get him up. All right, take a picture of the cat and then feed the cat to the crow. <laughs> Hey, yo, cat, did you know a demon was hanging over your shoulder? Did you know? Guess not. We're just taking the picture. Okay. All right. We are good. Boots got this. Okay. All we need is the potato, but we got to get it out of this damn cage. Hey, yo, Edgar, I got a lizard for you, homie, after I take this picture. All right. What else he, uh, what else he eat? Worms, insects, and lizards. Take that. Yeah, there you go. You like that, Edgar? You like that, homie? Yeah, I know you like it. Go ahead and eat that lizard rub. Stop cacaing in there. Just give me that damn. Give me all that. Wait a minute. So I just needed to give him the lizard? That was it? <laughs> what the f Okay. Uh, also, I think the game wouldn't let me move forward because they had already glitched out and effed up in the last episode. So there's that. All right, well, we in this bed. Check it out. The stock is not ready. I have to wait. Better do something else. All right, well, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that Viagra suit. Treat Yoko's heart. From where? In the suit? Where the hell do I get it from? And why did it do all that to tell me to retrieve her heart, man? I hope that four demon um, ain't gonna chase me around this house. I feel like I should save it just in case. How many tapes I got? I got four of them hoes. Yeah, let me go ahead and save. Just in, man, my shoulders. You know what I mean? Let me relax myself. Relax, boots. We good, homie. Y'all relax too. Relax your shoulders. Go to a massage therapist. I go once a month. It's a good time. Go ahead, put that bitch arm on. It's all this purple stuff on you too. It's on your breastuses too. That man, uh, that man, man of Quinn been touching all on you. He being perverted on you. Look at that handprint right there. Yeah, I think he may have. I'm going to save you, girl. I'm going to save you. I ain't going to let him do that to you no more. Yeah, we good. We good. Okay. Boots got this, man. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs. And we're going to put the rest of Grandma's pictures on the wall. 
got this, y'all. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Because Boots going to take care of you. Yeah. Boots is going to take care of you. All right. Looks like the love soup is ready. Hold on for a second, Four Demon. I got you. We're going to get you taken care of, homie. You're going to hide and have that Viagra soup in no time. Red gem. What the hell is a red gem for? Right, let me drop this little toy right here. Grandma said put the toys up. Go ahead and put all them toys up. Okay. Bring the super love to the purgatory demon. Put the cubes, the toy cubes in place. Okay, that's the three things we gotta do. Relax your shoulders, boots. Relax them damn shoulders. Nigga, you ain't even in here. I got the soup ready for you. Yeah, what you got in your desk though, homie? What you got in your desk? He need that Viagra suit first before them doors open. I get it. Go ahead and drop this heart in here. Cook it up. Check it out. The soup is not ready yet. I have to wait. Better do something else. Uh, hell, what do I do? I don't know. Okay. Um, man, they've been asking who was the rabbit woman the whole game. I wonder if they're going to tell us this time. I'm not really sure what to do next here. Up in this bed. Okay. Shit! The lights went out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I picture him sounding like that. Hmm. Did I miss anything in here? Oh, that love soup is ready. The love soup is ready. Hey. Purgatory demon about to get that. Get Granny in there banging her head on the fuddle mucking wall. George, come in here and have Granny. I didn't went nuts and banging my fuddle mucking head on the wall. <laughs> hey, yo, Granny, relax. You know what I mean? At least she finally relaxed. I didn't, I didn't jump at all at that. <laughs> Was I supposed to jump at that? Oh well, we're here now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I didn't get the suit. Let me get the suit. Gotta get the suit. Here we go. Picked up the soup of love. Hey. <laughs> soup of love is ridiculous. All right, here we go. Hey, yo, I got gotcha. you. Love soup. Unlock them doves for me. Mm, smells wonderful, too. I bet it smells like ass. <laughs> it's love soup. What do you want me to do? Uh, what does that say? How to photograph the rabbit woman. Keep an eye on windows. Oh, there's a clue. I guess I should go back and get the camera. You know what I mean? So I can take a photo of her. All right. Oops. Wrong button. Here we go. What is this? Examine. A swore red. A dagger? What is that for? We taking it. Ooh, we picked up the key to hell. What is this? It's the four demon mask. Mask of purgatory. What do we need that for? Put away the demon mask? Put it away where though? Well, since we're standing right by hell, let's see what's in here. Might as well. We here now. Open that door up. Effort, we here. It's Ginpaku. Here's the man of the year, George. My name is Ginpaku, and I am one of the four demons, the demon of hell. You did a great job, Kanzo. You granted his wish. But he didn't eat the shoe. George, these are metaphors, you idiot. You don't have to be so material about these matters. Back to us. Kanzo was making his considerations to decide what to do with you. In the meantime, you must continue to please us, the four demons. And now, my turn has come. What kind of weird soup you want? What should I do after the love soup? Do you want the friendship meatloaf? Spaghetti? Or brother of brotherhood? No, nah, that's funny. I like your irony, George. You're facing a demon from hell, and you're being sarcastic. That's why we chose you. You see, George, 
we demons don't all always get along. There are hierarchies, hierarchies to be respected among us. And as you must be imagining, these hierarchies want to be climbed. Yoko, the demon of sins, wants to take my place. That damn bitch stole my book of souls. If the upstairs finds out that I don't have this book anymore. <laughs> well, they better not find out. Why don't you take it back yourself? Because I don't have anything that would interest Yoko. And should I have the bargaining chip? Stop asking unnecessary questions, George. You're here for a reason. In the cabinet behind you, you'll find the green card to go to the Demon of Sins. Come back to me with the Book of Souls. All right, uh, can I walk in here though? It look kind of hot. I don't want to burn my my toes and my feet. Go to Yoko and bring back the Book of Souls. All right, I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't even worry, okay. Got my green card. Complete the chalice and put it in its place. Okay, what is this? The Garden of Gesethi. We read that in the other episode. Okay, uh, you sure I can't step back there? See what's behind that desk? Okay. All right, so I'm assuming that these go, these, uh, the red gem or whatever goes on to the chalice. Like it only makes sense. Okay, so I got this dagger and I got the green card. Turn my flashlight on. It's too dark in this bit. Okay. Now, let's save it. Yeah, we made a lot of progress. Hmm. Demon of sins in there, naked. Well, gonna have to blur you out. Let's go upstairs first. <laughs> Bring back the book of souls for the demon. Put away the demon mask. Put it away where, though? Mask of Kanzo. Oh, right here. Okay, I got you. All right, well, let's go in here and talk to the demon of sins. Yoko. Welcome, George. I'm Yoko, and I'm the demon of soul. Wait a minute. Turn this new filter on. Alcoholism, murders, depressions. I must admit that you are my new favorite person. I don't have time to waste, Yoko. Oh, wait. I don't have time to waste, Yoko. I'm being sent by the other demon, Yoko. <laughs> I see that Kanzu and Genpaku have already put you under their thumb, George. Have you become their errand boy? And what does Genpaku want from me? He wants his book of... Oh, he wants his book of souls back. Yoko, just as I want my heart and the lotus flower back. But you can't have everything in life. George, may I propose a trade? <laughs> Yoko. Well, if you can steal my heart from Kanzo, you can bring it back to me. George, I cooked your heart. I put it in Viagra soup. Yoko, you what? Kanzo, uh, George. Kanzo asked me to. Yoko, I, I have no words. Did you eat the lotus flower too? George. Nah, it's in the display case in the living room, but it's protected by a cold. Yoko, that's perfect, George. Look at them slow claps. We have found the bargaining chip. Bring me the lotus flower, and you'll get the Book of Souls. George, how do I find the code? Yoko, in the dining room, you'll find the blue flame lantern. That fascist fire is able to reveal the unknown. Get the purple car, find the lantern, and bring me the lotus flower. Man, they I am their errand boy. We demons love to be complacent. I see. Y'all are lazy as hell. Y'all just got me doing everything. Examine. Hanged at sunset. Okay. Okay. Second hallway. Wow. Where does that lead to? Jeesh. Examine. Read. February 14th. 1983. It's from Susan. George and I have decided to get together. <laughs> you know what time it is. Is it a cliche to get together on Valentine's Day? Probably, 
but I don't care. One day is worth the other because every second spent with George is special. His presence is the only thing that keeps me connected to this house. Taking care of Elsa is difficult, and although George has come of age, I don't understand what keeps him tied to this woman. Elsa is evil. She is evil. It has nothing to do with her illness. The other day she kicked the door to my room uh, wide open. Besides the what? Oh, besides the violent act, it was 2 a.m. and I was sleeping. I had a heart attack. <clears throat> she stood still staring at me in the dark as I tried to compose myself. After almost two minutes of silence and no response to my questions of explanation, she exclaimed, A rabbit? That's what animal I want. I want a rabbit. That's Elsa talking. I'm starting to get scared, Susan. Okay. While my uh, battery is wasting away. Reading that shite. All right, the door disappeared. Let's try again. Help me! Uh, help you? What the fuck you mean? I'm trying to help you. What? Wait, what? Hold on now. Help your bar. Talking about help you, help your bar. Oh, God, no. I'm locked in here. Oh, I, I did read it. Read it again. what that say? Help me, George. Is that Elsa talking? Grandma is it coming? <laughs> oh. Read. Help me, George. My flashlight. Shut my flashlight off. Okay. Oh, she about to. Oh, she about to sneak up on your boy. She is about to sneak up on your boy. There he is. Help me, Jay. I'm in a cannon. And I can't think for my shit. Please help me, Jay. I said, Jay, help me. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. What? Is this a new uh, letter? It is not. Okay. Got me running back and forth in the hallway. All right, Granny Elsa, don't you sneak up on me. Joe, there. What the hell is happening? Oh, they want me to blow the candle out. Oh, my God. She tried to eat my chest mouth. What was that about? What was Granny doing? They said she had a weird love for the boy. I don't know what she was just doing right there. I don't know. A suspect, Granny. Relax yourself. Open the door, open the door, let me in there. What the shite? It's a whole nother corridor in this bitch. And of course that door is locked to this. Look at that. What is this, Slender Man? I come in the dark. Maybe you shouldn't come at all. Open your inventory and examine the photographs after you have collected them. Use the blue flame lamp to find the symbol. What photographs, though? The joy that had been rekindled in me was again extinguished, like all things for a single moment shine with beauty in my life. I quarreled with Susan because I defended Grandma. Susan came to report to me that Grandma threatened her because she saw us together. She saw us knocking boots. Why was Granny watching that? Wow, she is on some weird stuff. I merely said that she couldn't read too much into what Grandma says. She knows perfectly well that she is sick and not lucid. At that point, we started fighting and didn't speak to each other for one day. <laughs> okay. Lying down the hatchet, I decided to take the first step to calm the waters and apologize. I opened the door to Susan's room. She was gone. Her clothes were gone. Her things, gone. And of my girlfriend, no sign. Grandma says she left because she was no longer comfortable with us. This doesn't convince me, but I live in a difficult situation. I can't force people to stay. Wow, Granny was on some weirdness. Yeah, Granny was out here doing some something foul with little George, man. Doing something foul with little George. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, just opened up to the living room. All right. Uh, let's save. Cause we have done a lot. Got the key to Susan's room. I'm gonna go put this uh this toy cube there. Hey, are the lights back on? Father Mucker, they ain't. Okay, totally fine. Totally fine. I think that's yellow key, and I don't have that one yet. Okay, we good, y'all. We good, man. Boots got this. What you got for me in here? Unlock that bit. Okay, picked up a blank VHS. Get away with this. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> get away with this violin. <laughs> I don't know. That was so funny to me in that last episode. Stupid skeleton talking. Uh, Let's see. What color is this one? That's yellow. Okay. What the hell? Ooh, more batteries. I need that. And more soda pop. Lay down the carrot. Oh, okay. I still got the carrot. Yes, sir. Oh, I thought it was going to unlock this. It did not. A poster of Queen. Okay. Fair enough. Predator. One of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. Got the green gem. Oh, there go. Oh, shoot. Is Susan... The one running around here half naked? Hold on, let me turn my uh, flashlight off. Because the mask is in her room. No wonder she was out there standing in front of that door being seductive. The day before yesterday, a strange thing happened. It was Halloween day, and in front of my room door, there was a big box. Inside it, I found a strange Halloween outfit. I asked George about it, but he said it had nothing to do with his present. There are not many of us in this house. If he doesn't do it, if he did, if he did, doesn't do it, it narrows. Okay. If he doesn't do it, it narrows the circle by a lot. It was Granny. Granny bought that uh, bunny costume to strut around in front of George, her grandson. What a nasty old whore. Nasty old whore. Let me get that from you. Examine. Let's see what else is over here. Dead calm. Is that a real movie? Interesting. Never heard of it. Uh, my inventory is full. Picked up the storage key. Dead gum it. I gotta go way back downstairs. The head of a rabbit costume. Yes, it is George. The poster of GI Joe. Wait a minute. Was there a GI Joe with Dolph Lundgren? I don't remember that. Okay, whatever. Let us head back downstairs. Run, 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 run! Boy, I hauled ass out of there. You ain't about to catch me up, Granny. Crawling your scary ass up them stairs on all fours. Back up off me. We good, y'all. Why y'all scared? You know what I mean? I told y'all boots gonna take care of y'all. Y'all ain't gotta be scared. Oh my gosh, she's still coming after me. She is still coming after me. What the hell is up with that? Bro, what? <laughs> okay. All right, rabbit lady, you need to relax. We good, y'all. We good. I told y'all I got y'all. Chill out. What y'all scared for? Don't be scared. Hey, your rabbit lady, you in this window? Take a picture. Oh, these. I didn't even see them sitting here. Wow. I am a moron. What? I did not see those sitting there. That's so stupid of you, Boots. Just real stupid. Damn. That is pretty dark. I'm going to just go ahead and... Uh, I'll be right back, Susan. Just, 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 just give me one second. My rabbit woman. My rabbit woman, my rabbit woman, my rabbit woman. Picked up the red gem. Picked up a dagger. Examine. 
Susan's lifeless body. The de this death is also my fault. Damn, George. You just done killed everybody. I'm sorry, Susan, but I'm going to slide by you. Just, just, I just want to read your last letter. That's all. Don't, don't do nothing crazy. To anyone who finds this letter, help. Elsa keeps me locked up in this cell. Damn, Granny was out here. After beating me into unconsciousness, I woke up here without windows. The days are all the same. I have completely lost all sense of time. Every now and then, the lady comes to feed me. Carrots. Every day. Carrots. She says I am her little rabbit. She always wanted a rabbit, and now she has one in a cage. Screaming doesn't help. I don't think George can hear me. I don't understand why he doesn't come looking for me. However, I will not stop screaming as long as my lungs have breath. I will keep calling for, for help as long as someone can hear me. I am afraid. Wow, that is dark. Um, let's just keep it moving. Bring the lotus flower to the demon of sins. Get the lantern in the dining room. <laughs> He's just sitting there chilling. <laughs> I'm tripping. I got the purple key. Durr. I got the green one, too. Okay. There's the lantern. Use the lantern to find the code. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. This thing is getting crazy. Getting real crazy. Ooh, another tape more batteries a vhs tape okay so um an oil lamp it makes a strange blue light it reveals un the unknown okay use the lantern to find the code oh the code is for the uh the what's the name after i like it to get it yeah 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 so i need the code for that what they mean the blue flame for the unknown Ooh, that's creepy. Okay. Ah, I didn't want to do that. One. Okay. So one is one of the numbers. Maybe there's a code in... Susan's room, possibly. Okay, one and four. Let's check grandma's room. I bet grandma got some weird shite in here on the walls. Don't mess around, grandma. One, four, three. Let's see if it's in here. One, four, three, and five. Okay, one, four, three, five. And it's a four digit code. Shit, how do I know what order to put it in though? It's a six digit code. Let me bring out a pen. <laughs> I see. Ain't that a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna look around for these and then I'll just do a quick cut. Okay, so uh, I've done all the looking around, so <laughs> y'all didn't have to sit through all that shite while I went back around and gathered all the damn information I needed for this freaking lot. So, let's go over here. Put this hoe in here. Examine. Examine. Okay, there we go. So, the first one is heart. The second one, which gonna assume is down is the eyeball looking thing which I think that's it um, third was pitchfork and then the triangle looking thingy number four number five is seeing and then number six was a star looking thingy there it is Let's get it. Picked up the lotus flower. And we're going to save. Let me 
take this lotus flower back over to uh old demon lady. I mean, I got what you wanted. Here you go. The lotus flower. Thank you, George. I've been craving it for ages. And you need it for nothing that concerns you. Now get the hell out of here. Stay out of my business. Asking any of these damn questions, George. Wait, the Book of Souls. Are you really that stupid, George? I didn't become the demon of sins because of my honesty. <laughs> oh, what a dickhead, George. But I have to. Uh, you have to do nothing. You got yourself into the situation. Now get lost. <laughs> she just. Hey, let me get that mask off. She didn't give me the Book of Souls, uh, Hell Demon. He's not going to be very happy. Not going to be very happy at all. I'm telling on her. Hey, shit. Oh, my God. Yipaku. It's only demons and sins that's tricked you. Nothing new under the sun. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that damn demon. I don't know uh, what cocks she is sucking to stay in her eye arc. Okay. I still don't understand what I have to do with this whole thing. Ah, dear George, you are the key to everything. We demons are a mortar, of course. But there are things far worse than death. If Yoko fools you, we will fool her. Get the blue card in the cabinet behind you and retrieve the mysterious concoction. Okay. Now what is this mysterious concoction? This is a formulation of my own creation. Retrieve it, go to purgatory, and correct Kanzo's love suit with my concoction. This nigga has become an errand boy. Does Yoko want her heart back? Great, we'll give it back to her. He's gonna give her a fake heart. The mug gonna be 3D printed. This will give you time to retrieve my book. Now go, George. This is hilarious, man. About to give her a 3D printed heart, man. Okay. Did I forget? No. All right, folks, that is going to be it for this episode of Lost Alone, man. I'm pretty sure the next episode we will uh, get to the uh, finale of this. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next episode. And let's see uh, what the hell old Elsa was doing with her grandson. What a weirdo. As always, thank y'all for stopping by. Checking your boy Puss and Boots out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out this piece. Deuces!